Minnesota and Norway, a state and country bonded together by shared heritage, climate, and the legacy of hosting the longest running bilateral troop exchange in the history of the Department of Defense. The Norwegian Reciprocal Troop Exchange, known as NORAX, began as a simple handshake between the Norwegian Inspector General and the Chief of the National Guard in 1973. They shared best practices about each nation's training operations and equipment to improve their own organization. But at its core, this would be an opportunity for Norwegian and American troops to form bonds of friendship across the Atlantic, creating an international partnership on a personal level that would last for the next 50 years. Yeah, the first exchange, you know, because it was so new, we were just uh, not, not really knowing what we were going to expect, uh, but we were excited to go. When we first got to the Torpomon for the training, the first few days was uh, exchanging equipment for one thing. We, we, we got rid of our, our American uniform. We had their skis and their, their poles and their pants. And then we started some rifle training, you know, uh, shooting an AK-47 because that was the NATO weapon. And then starting to learn how to ski a little bit on some smaller hills because some of the guys had never skied before, of course. Oh. Zach, sorry, what are you doing in the snow? Taking a bath, I didn't get one this morning. I had never skied growing up in Minnesota. So, you know, they're like, oh, it won't be no problem. We're gonna teach you how to cross country ski. I gotta tell you, it was more like downhill ski in Minnesota, being in those Norwegian mountains. I was constantly falling. hiked across the mountains from where we were stationed at Camp Torpol to our next location. And it's a two-man team. You're carrying this 80-pound sled behind you. Learning how to ski over there was an amazing experience. The most important thing is to learn people to live outside during the winter. It's completely doable to stay outside, although it's cold, snowy and stuff. Learn how to ski learn how to survive in a tent, uh, learn how to put up a tent during winter time, uh, learn how to dig snow caves, uh, live in snow caves. So this is the snow cave that we're doing. Uh, this one, there's gonna be four man in there. It's, it's about five to six degrees warmer in here normally, is what we were told. And then uh, once you get a couple bodies in here, it'll go up a couple more degrees as well. I'm really glad that I got selected to do it because this is definitely a once in a lifetime and coming out here skiing, you know, I stopped several times to look back and just take a break, just to look at, you know, the scenery and just being able to see that and actually work with other troops has been, has been a good experience. This is the 12th year of the Norway American Guard Exchange, where members of the Norwegian Home Guard have come here to Minnesota to train at Camp Ripley and to get an idea of what Minnesota is like. The Norwegian RRF that comes to Minnesota receive for training is basically uh, individual soldier, soldier skills. We do bring in local law enforcement to do some asymmetrical threat operations to a very limited degree. Both Norway and Minnesota have prioritized culture throughout the exchanges, and buddy weekends have remained a highlight for service members to experience the humble home life of their host nation. The buddy weekends are probably one of the best part of the whole exchange, and it's pretty cool. You know, it, it, it's kind of a magical experience to actually be with a foreign family in a foreign country and eat their foreign food and all the rest. I think it's, it's a cool thing both ways. Holger and Heidi was the couple that hosted myself and another airman, and they were really great. They had two young boys. I think my favorite memory overall is where we went up to their family's cabin, similar to what we do here in Minnesota, and we got to explore and just sled with all of the little kids. And it was funny because we didn't speak the same language at all, but like you can communicate with little kids and do something fun together. Like we just went sledding for a few hours and it was a blast. I think those have been wonderful too, and I hope they continue at the Buddy Weekends. 
because of the fact that uh, you really get some relationships there for the young people that are coming. Uh, I've had two different groups of guys that I've hosted and uh, we've had a ball, you know, out on the lake and showing them around Minnesota. And, you know, there was, a, there was a lot of fun. I think, I think they really enjoyed being with my family and, and I certainly enjoyed having them. Sometimes the buddy weekends can even bring entire families together. So I think like most Minnesotans, I knew I had some sort of family relationship, you know, with Norway. Uh, my last name was Lapagard. I knew that was a Norwegian name. And so one day I'm walking through the uh, uh, chow line uh, and the cook behind the counter says, uh, Lapagard, she's like, you're from here, you know? And I'm like, oh, 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 that's funny. She's like, no, really, you are, you know? And sure enough, we pulled up a uh, map uh, and there was my name uh, on the map, you know, just across from the post. Uh, so she did a great job and connected me with my family and then uh, uh, got to meet him, uh, Olav Lapagard. He had a little farm uh, out there and that's where my family came from. And uh, so that was magical. And uh, I got interviewed by the local uh, paper uh, while I was there. Came back home and it was written all in Norwegian, of course, because it's a Norwegian paper. Uh, and then uh, I knew a good friend at school uh, named Adel Moritzen uh, and she helped choose Norwegian. Uh, and she helped translate it for me. Uh, and then later on we got married uh, too. So uh, I like to think it was kind of like the beginning of the path towards Norway, you know. I think it's understated how important these international friendships are. You're building partnerships at a ground level you know, not just at a strategic or a top leader level. You're really building it at kind of the lower levels, which I think is a deeper level of friendship. While we might have similar values, we don't go through the same things. And to experience what other countries or other human beings go through, I think that that is one of the biggest reasons why this Norwegian exchange is such a blessing to any soldier or airman that gets to go on it. Our path towards partnership has brought more than 8,000 troops across the Atlantic, allowing them to share their tactical and cultural experiences with one another. Minnesota and Norway hope to transform their long-standing agreement from an annual exchange into an official partnership through the Department of Defense's State Partnership Program. The program, known as the SPP, provides a low-cost yet high payoff application to security cooperation efforts. So when you look at our national defense strategy, it's very heavily reliant on allies and partners. And what a better way to develop allies and partners through our state partnership program. I really value this relationship between the Minnesota National Guard and Norway. The unique thing here is we are NATO allies. And so all the training that we do helps NATO and improve their capabilities and readiness across the board. Not only that, but the enduring relationships we've developed over the last 50 years, the ability to train together, operate in a joint environment is invaluable and a great standard for all of other state partners. Being a partner nation in, in, in SPP, uh, I think that would be a very good framework for putting other initiatives between um, the Home Guard and the Minnesota Metro Guard, but also uh, other uh, parts of Norwegian Armed Forces and uh, the U.S. Armed Forces. After 50 years of honoring a handshake agreement, Norway and the Minnesota National Guard seek to become official partners through the State Partnership Program, expanding their partnership and friendship for the next 50 years to come. Just my highest praise, both for the Minnesota National Guard and for Norway. Um, if you look at this, predates our State Partnership Program by almost 20 years and the ability for Minnesota and Norway to train together and work with each other for such a long period of time. It shows the importance of those enduring relationships and the importance of really training and working with an ally. It's a great program and I'm really proud for them uh, to celebrate 50 years. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity that um, the Minnesota National Guard and the Norwegian Home Guard have built this bond and are providing you this opportunity, enjoy your time because it can literally change your life.